Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be talking about history and my review on it. And if you remember, I'm doing American history with my kids and I pretty much wrote what we're doing. So stay tuned because I'm going to tell you all about the ups and downs and the hows and whys. So I did those videos, you can check them out above and below if I remember above. And what it was, was this year I wanted to focus exclusively on American history. For the last several years of our history, we have been following the Story of the World Volume 1 and 2, and next year we'll be starting 3 and 4 and then we'll cycle over again. Those have worked out so great for us. I'm so happy with them. However, I wanted to exclusively focus on American history. And a lot of that had to do with uh, the younger years and reading Charlotte Mason. And the problem is, is that I had read somewhere how Charlotte Mason really liked the children to understand their own um, history. So that would be America for us, but it was also in a chronological way. And so I really didn't see that the um, story of the world kind of followed that. So I really wanted to uh, bring in my own. Now, um, again, with, with our history, with how I like to do school, I like a plethora of books for the children to read to give it different perspectives and even today I had a wonderful conversation with my youngest sister who I help educate and homeschool and do all that and she said that the reason she likes what we do so much because she just went um, through a, a specific history in her co-op and she said she felt like she only learned about one man in history and that was Abraham Lincoln and she didn't feel like she got such a broad view like she's been doing in our own history. And that was exactly the idea that I had when I was giving my children all of these. And, and when I say my children, I am including the, the two additional students that I didn't give birth to, but I educate. Um, I wanted a, a big view, picture of history, of, of points in history. So like the revolution, I didn't just want it from a George Washington aspect or, you know, main leaders in that. Those are important to know, but I wanted a broad aspect, you know, the village people that we are. We are not President Trump and the cabinet. We're not, we're not those people. We are the citizens that help build our country from the the background, you know, the, the, the yeah. underdogs, for lack of a better word. But we help build America too, but we just don't have the big name like President Trump does. We don't have that power. We have the power that I think a lot of people forget that we have. We elect, anyway, I'm gonna get off the tangent, off on a tangent. Um, so that was the core of how I wanted to do it. Something like Sunlight would have worked really well or Bookshark. And if you can afford those type of programs, you know what, they are great. Definitely look into it. Definitely do it if you can. But um, maybe look at it as in a way to, um, for the whole family to do it. <clears throat> the thing is that I'm going to run into is I can't afford that price times four students. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have five kids. I won't be able to do that times five for five kids. Even if I were to get one to pass down each year and only be buying one a year, that is still a huge investment. That's um, I, I looked at the price. You can go ahead and check them out down below. They're, they're a good investment, and I don't have that kind of money every year. But what I do have is a vast knowledge of books and I'm going to use that to my advantage. Um, I use thrift books all the time. Very rarely do I buy a book new. I have my thrift store. I have my library. I have all of this resources. And so that's how I built this thing, knowing what I do. And even next year when we go back into Story of the World Volume 3, 
I still have lists of books that I've been putting together for them and really putting that as part of our core curriculum. <clears throat> um, now, when I first wrote it, I had an idea of what I wanted to do. I wanted to use um, the Josephine Pollock. I wanted to use Genevieve Foster. Those are great resources. But I found that we didn't get as much done as I was wanting to by using those. And after a while, again, it, it started focusing. It was getting almost oh. intense nice. because I have such a broad range of grades. So, um... And the, the thing about it is, is that I started with those, and I think if I had spread them out a little bit more, I'm not sure how, somehow, some way, but not put it all together at once, it would have fit better. So I did end up changing a lot of it, and it worked out okay, and we're totally fine. One of the ways that I, I ended up switching it around was I, I got my hands on this book, and... Um, I ended up switching some of our read alouds. Now I only, I don't read out of this book, I don't assign anything from this book. The only thing I use out of this book is pretty much an outline of how they teach, what they teach. We don't even cover all the stuff that they cover. We cover it from a different aspect. I, I noticed that we um, <clears throat> covered some stuff that they hadn't mentioned in here and then they mentioned some stuff in here that we haven't covered. But it really is just to um, um, give us a good direction on to go, especially when you're writing your own curriculum. And I found this to be helpful. And I picked this up used, I think it was like $20, $25 used. No, sweetheart. No. Um, it was $20, $25. And I ended up... High five. High five. No, no. You five. Okay. High five. Um... I ended up trading some dishcloths for this, so it didn't really cost me anything other than the time I did for the dishcloth. And this really helped, okay? I added this mainly as an outline. I really needed an outline um, that, that helped me better, a little bit better than what I had. And I did adjust those. The other thing that I added to um, our homeschool is the presidents. We finished the revolution, and now there's just short information on our presidents and I have found this to be so valuable in our homeschool and I've been adding it because I really wanted to do more with our presidents. So this was really great and we've only done up into Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Now, I've seen this with, I think, both Bookshark and Sunlight, and I have been keeping my eye out for it on Thrift Books Forever. <sighs> the funny thing is, is I was like, oh, we've got so much more time left, and when I got, when I placed a bookmark as to where we are, I'm like, wait a minute, we have to cover the rest of this this year? So that was a little daunting, but I did add this to our homeschool library to kind of give me a basic breakdown of some of the things that happened and that I think will be helpful so that would probably be the only switch that I've made um don't don't you on that sweetheart that would be the only switch I made outside of also taking out the Genevieve Foster and the Josephine Pollack books so I really just switched to exclusively reading aloud and we did Johnny Tremaine and I wish we would have finished that sooner um, but it was, we did really good on that. <clears throat> I just wish we would have finished sooner because I feel like at the end we were kind of dragging our feet. The other things I'm pretty sure I talked about in those videos are the games that we've been playing. And this one especially, we've, we've pretty much mastered it. It's been really great. And some of the reviews on Amazon said that the timeline are, some of them are inaccurate. So there's something to remember of that. And of course, I don't remember. Uh, I, or I'm apparently not as great mommy, at history as I thought. No, we are not getting on the computer. We're not playing Animal Jam or anything like that. Um, so I like especially using this after we've learned something else in history. So we've done that. We just finished American Revolution and we went through this. And we could probably still play this several times. 
And um, I did follow Hannah's thing where just before we start, we do all the easy ones to know what we know. And then by the end of it, we tried the harder ones. And some of them we still really struggle with, I would say. Um, but we do really enjoy these ones a whole lot. If you can get Professor and Argonne's, definitely. And we're um, finishing up 1812. And I was thinking we'll do this one this year, or um, this year. Yeah, we'll do this one this year, absolutely. We're going to try this one this week because after the 1812, it's kind of like the Western expansion just heading into the Civil War, and I thought that would be a little bit fun to do. So we might do that this week. So these are things that um, I had planned on using. We've still used them. We're still enjoying them. They still really work with how I wanted school to do. The other thing that has worked really well are these notebooks that I got. I think I showed them to you. And they have, they have um, lined paper, they have graph paper, and they have blank paper. We've probably used this one most of all. And what this is, is I have them every Thursday we sit down and we summarize on a whiteboard everything we remember about what we've learned that week. And I use the whiteboard as basically bullet points and I keep encouraging the children to write more than what I have. And this is Lisa Lucky. This is Johnny Tremaine. This is my, the graph one is probably like I said our least used because what I was hoping to use it for was um, kind of like the the book of centuries where you will put like um, artifacts or something down here that you would remember. So um, Lorna remembered a volcano during Leaf the Lucky. And here we were trying to draw a Viking ship. That was really difficult. Yeah. Um, here we have, oh, the coast of Florida. So I do try to bring in geography in that way where we draw um, states. Um, I believe this was Jamestown Colony. Um, anyway, I don't want to... That was actually... That's what we have. Jamestown Colony, and we are um, into exploration. But with that, we also have folders. And in these folders can be... Okay, we have the French and Indian War Map. So what... French owned, what the Indians owned, and what um, the Spanish owned. Okay, so here we go. We've got um, 1492. So we have um, these things here where we, we also put some drawings that we've had. And that's how I bring that into it. So that's my sister's. Um, here's my daughter's. Again, we start with really small because, you know, you're just learning how to narrate. We have a little bit more with Native Americans. Not sure why that one's upside down. Johnny Tremaine, again, we're starting to get more. Um, we learned about the judicial, the judicial branch, so we had them um, kind of illustrate that. Thomas Jefferson, this, so this was our last one. Okay, so that's the girls and they are um, the upper grades. Let, let me show you the boys because um, I think it's important to realize the difference in narration with girls and boys. So here is um, my son. So he, he has a lot but his um, print is bigger. Okay, here's Columbus. Not a lot. I think he probably just hit the bullet points. That's fine. Again, those bullet points are not just me writing them. I'm like, what happened? When? Where? How? And why? I'm trying to do all those stuff. And again, see, sometimes there just isn't a lot of information. And sometimes there's more. And sometimes there's more. Alright, and sometimes we have this. Okay, let's see, Johnny, let's go all Johnny Tremaine, this one is, um, the judicial, oh, this is, um, the colonial, the judicial branch, what we got from there, here's Thomas Jefferson and yesterday, 
okay and so all of them have that all of them have a folder like this where we have more drawings in here more information um some of them have the book reports you know the the individual reading i have them write me a narration on what it was about and again i like them to cover the who where how and why and um i like them to put a little thought into it what would history could what could history be like without them and so that really is my history that's how i'm working history i i have some times where I'm like I don't think I did this right and then sometimes I'm like we are kicking butt where I'm like we are really just hitting this well and great and I'm so excited and I've learned an awful lot and uh, I don't just have stories that I'm reading to the kids and they have their own baskets of books to read I also try to find adult books that kind of give me a little bit more information about what we're learning right now but sometimes those books are really long and I don't really get through them all right I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to check the playlist link down below to see all the other videos because I am behind and I will see you in my next video adios I'll get you down.